Everyone chases greatness, but only a few understand the price of it. Most people are comfortable with mediocrity. They study enough to pass, they push enough to stay afloat, but never enough to stand out. They exist in the gray space of average, too afraid to risk standing out, too complacent to challenge themselves. But you, you're different, aren't you? You're not here to be average. You're here because something inside of you demands more. Take a moment and ask yourself, what are you willing to endure for excellence? True success isn't born from talent alone. It's carved out from countless hours of discipline, sacrifice, and relentless effort. The path to greatness is not comfortable, and it never will be. But why should it be? If success were easy, it would be worthless. There will be times when your motivation fades. When the early mornings, the late nights, and the endless grind feel like they're wearing you down. But in those moments, remember this. Most people stop when they're tired. Great people stop only when they're finished. What separates the elite from the rest is not intelligence, it's willpower. The ability to go further than the next person. To keep working when others quit. You see, it's not about beating someone else. It's about conquering yourself. It's about crushing that voice in your head that tells you to give up, to slow down, to settle. No one is going to hand you greatness. You must take it, piece by piece, step by step, decision by decision. Success is not a finish line. It's a mindset. It's a habit. People will always underestimate you. They will assume you're just like them, content to blend in, to stay in your lane. Let them believe it, but internally, sharpen yourself, focus your mind, commit to outworking, outthinking, and outperforming. Let your actions speak for you. When the time comes, they'll see who you really are. Not someone destined for average, but someone designed for excellence. You have the potential to reach beyond anything you've imagined. You have the ability to go farther than what's expected of you. But you must be willing to do what others won't. So, why aim for average when you can redefine your own limits? Let every study session, every challenge, every obstacle be a stepping stone toward the extraordinary. The world doesn't need more people who just get by. It needs more people like you. Driven. Relentless and ready to push far beyond average. Start now, and remember, ordinary effort yields ordinary results. You're not here for ordinary, you're here for greatness. Now go earn it. But I want you to understand something crucial. Your journey to excellence isn't just about achieving the highest grades or surpassing others in tests or competitions. That's only one piece of the puzzle. True greatness comes from mastering yourself, your mind, your emotions, and your will. What happens when you face failure? Because you will. No one reaches greatness without falling, without stumbling. The key difference between those who remain average and those who break through to excellence is how they respond to failure. Average people see failure as the end of the road. They give in. They make excuses. They blame circumstances. But the ones who rise, they see failure for what it is. Feedback, nothing more, nothing less. It's information, it's data. It tells you what needs improvement, what needs refining. Failure is a chance to recalibrate, to come back stronger, sharper, and more resilient. The mindset you carry through your failures is what defines you. The way you face adversity, pressure, and setbacks determines whether you will reach the level you're aiming for. Do you know how diamonds are made? They're formed under immense pressure. They don't crumble. They're shaped, refined, and strengthened through that intense force. And you're the same. Pressure isn't your enemy. It's your greatest ally. In every moment of stress, 
in every late night study session, when the weight of it all feels overwhelming, remember, you are becoming sharper. Your ability to handle pressure is expanding. Your resilience is growing. This is what separates the weak from the unstoppable. The ability to take that pressure and use it as fuel, not as a reason to quit. Think about the times you've succeeded before. Those small victories, when you pushed through something difficult. When you stayed the course when others gave up. When you surprised even yourself with what you could accomplish. That wasn't luck. That wasn't an accident. That was you stepping into your potential, and you've only scratched the surface. But let's be honest, this won't always be easy. There will be moments when you doubt yourself, moments when you question whether all this effort is worth it. You'll feel like giving up. That's normal. But what matters is what you do next. In those moments of doubt, you have to reconnect with why you started. Why are you doing this? What's driving you to become more than average? The truth is, if your motivation is weak, your results will be weak. If your purpose is shallow, your commitment will be shallow. So dig deep. What's the reason you want to excel? Is it to create a better future for yourself? For your family? To prove something to yourself? To make an impact on the world? Find that reason, make it crystal clear, and let it anchor you when things get tough. And let me tell you something else. Discipline is stronger than motivation. Motivation comes and goes. It's a feeling, a fleeting spark. It's unreliable. But discipline? Discipline is the habit that keeps you moving forward when the motivation fades. Frustrated when you feel like nothing's working. Discipline is what gets you out of bed in the morning. Discipline is what brings you back to your books, your studies, your goals, day after day, no matter how you feel. And don't think for a second that people won't doubt you. There will always be voices telling you to settle. There will be those who say, it's impossible or it's not worth it. They'll try to pull you back to average because it's where they're comfortable. But their limits don't have to be yours. Their ceiling is not your ceiling. You decide how far you go, not them. Here's a thought for you. Average is easy. It requires nothing special. No real commitment. No real effort. It's the default setting. It's where everyone starts. But how far you go beyond that, that's up to you. Excellence demands everything. It demands focus, sacrifice, and most importantly, consistency. You've come this far already, haven't you? You've made sacrifices. You've put in hours that most people wouldn't. And now, here you are. That means something. That's proof of your capability. But the question is, are you willing to go all the way? Because there's still more in you. You haven't reached your peak yet. You're still in the process of becoming the best version of yourself. Don't let comfort steal your potential. Don't let doubt rob you of the greatness you're capable of. Every time you sit down to study, every time you push yourself a little harder than you thought possible, you are inching closer to that version of yourself that others won't even recognize. When they see you succeed, when they see you rise above, they'll call it talent. They'll call it luck. But you'll know the truth. It wasn't luck. It wasn't an accident. It was your dedication, your discipline, your refusal to settle for average. So, here's my final message to you. You are not here for average. You were born to be exceptional. Everything you need to achieve greatness is already within you. It's time to unlock it. It's time to break away from the crowd. Don't stop. Don't rest. 
push yourself to places most people never even dream of.